Look who it is. What's up, Dad? Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You want to welcome them, welcome them back? Welcome them back. Welcome, welcome back to Fish with Norby. <laughs> <laughs> Episode with my son. That's All right. right. What are we doing today? Well, I think we're shell cracker fishing, it sounds like, and scouting out some bass. What do we call those some in ledges. Missouri? Red ear. Red ear. Red ear. Shell cracker. Big bluegill. Big bluegill. We're going to do a little catch and cook. Do a little fish Friday night. Dad drove up yeah. last night and got here this morning. What time did you leave Florida? Five to one in the morning. Five till one. Yeah. You got to be exact. Exact. Not not one o'clock. Five till one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> not sleep. That one minute makes a difference. You get any sleep? <laughs> you sleep uh, at all? About four and a half hours before that. Okay. Uh, about your usual? Are you? Yeah. You sleep? No, I'm sleeping that. more now. You're more exactly. nowadays. Now that you're retired. I huh? am. Wow. You get a whole six hours now. All right. Well, good. Well, we're, I'm excited you're here. It's been too long. It has been. Yep. We're going to go catch some fish, guys. It's a beautiful day here on Lake Gunnersville, and we're catching big panfish. We're going to show you what we're doing, what we're using, targeting these big bluegill, big red ear shell cracker, brim. What do you call them? Let me know. But I'm excited. I'm excited. We've put a couple episodes out this spring. But today, today's the day. I'm feeling real good about today. If you didn't see one of my last uh, Shellcracker episodes, I kept some giants. Hopefully we do the same today and more of them. So I'm excited. We got the boat ready to go here on Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. Let's go catch them. Okay, guys. Dad, will you grab me that rope and that cup holder? We got our thump net here. We're gonna we're set up on some bluegill beds. We're gonna throw in. Here you go. Thank you. And I like tossing the the net in the water. That way, when those bluegill shed those scales, they don't get all up in your live well. All right. Okay. Let's grab the worms. Get the fish. Come on up here, Dad. Fishing with the worms. Oh fishing God. with worms. You feel like, like you're fishermen. feel like you're youngin again. Little red worms. They stay on the hook better than than uh, those big old night crawlers when you get the bluegill munching them. So what we got here, folks, a little drop shot for bluegill. Got us a gold worm hook, a weight with a knot holding the weight on there. And we're just gonna cast it into the bed and just pull and not move it until you feel a little tick. Then you set the hook. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Back to the old days. Back to the old days. We didn't barely ever use worms. No, we didn't use many worms growing up. How far out are we going? Uh, 20 feet. Yeah, half that far even. But just, yeah, keep your pole tip to where you can feel the line and feel when one ticks it. And that's it. Hopefully we'll get on them. We got our worms in some water to reduce the dirt. You got one already? Yeah. Good job, Dad. You got a big one? Well, hopefully it's a keeper. 
Eh, he's borderline. Probably not. What do you think? Probably not. That camera's rolling too. You catch a, a big one, you can hold it up. Oh, I just got hit. All right. I'm gonna get a hit. Had another one hit him. Yeah? I haven't gotten hit yet. You got the only one in the boat so far. You got another one? Nice. This one's better. Ooh, you got a better one? Here, yeah? A better two. Okay, dude. A little better one, it feels Ooh. like. Ooh. Not much, just fought hard. Yeah, he fought hard. Oh uh, no. Small, yeah, we'll throw that one back. That one's small. Too small. Maybe if we were ice fishing, we might keep it. <laughs> we kept about everything ice fishing. Yeah. Well, you're up on me two to nothing there, Dad. There's one. I'm hooked up. Ooh, it's a fighter. Come on. This one might be a keeper, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Look at that one. That's hefty. That's a good one. That's a nice one. There you go, folks. Beautiful bluegill right there. It's got his tail all bent in. That's a nice one. It's not a giant, but it's a nice one. And then... We're just going to take and throw them in the old thump net right here. That's better. Never thought I'd see my son fishing with a worm. No? <laughs> no. Minnows, yeah. Bluegills, yeah. This is easy as it gets right here for catching these bedding bluegill. Must not be on them real good. Let's see. We're not getting bit quick enough. Oh, just kidding. Oh, you got a... I got the pocket of the small ones. That's a fat little dude. Let me see here. That's a shell cracker, Dad. Look at his little red ear. Tiny red ear. Yep, a little shell cracker. Good job. That's the female. Let's catch the big one. There you go, Dad. That's the spot. Biggin? Feels like a bigger one. Yeah. It does. Must get the big fighter like that one. That is a fighter. That's a better one. There you go, Dad. That's a little better one. Yep, little keeper. He swallowed that sucker, didn't he? Dang, that was quick too. Yeah, hey. he must have said. There you go. Oh, you drop a fat for his he, he, he smoked it, huh? A little surgery. <laughs> oh, doubled up. Oh, mine got off. Throw him in that thump net. Perfect. Got him? Nice. Good one. I'm over here retying you because you broke off. Yeah. Fat little guy. All right. Uh, he's borderline. Borderline. Let's throw back the borderlines. You want any more worms in there? There you go. Yeah, I want some more worms. Here, why don't I just rig up all day? Watch you rig up all day. <laughs> I come out here all this time just to catch a blue ball. I'll be a boy. Yeah. I'm thinking the majority of the beds are like right in there.
There he is, yep. Maybe. Little guy. They're all borderline. A lot of borderline keepers. There you go, Dad. Oh, missed him. We got there. Ooh, I got a fighter here. Hey, hey. What do you think on him? He's round. A little small? A little small, but he's fatter. He is fatter. We'll keep him. Three. Until we get about ten in there. We'll be a little picky after we get about ten in there. Oh, there you go, Dad. Yeah, your pole well, bent pretty good. I went for a second like he's coming towards me. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's a good that's one. a keeper. Right. Let's see him. That one, guys. He has fungus on him. Yeah, he does have a fungus on his fin. Fin fungus. All right. We got we got three, four in there now. Keep him? Yeah. Oh, we're doubled up, Dan. Oh, I got a shell cracker. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that one, Dad. Alright. That's a pretty That's one. A good one. Yeah. There, he's longer than my hand. Look, guys. Yep. See that? Going for. That's a pretty one right there. Keeper number five. Straight in the thump net. It's like right over here now. See it? So this thing, our, our boat's facing the same direction of that boat. So bit oh you got one beds are all over out here what do you got not quite a keeper oh we found them we found them whoo dad i got another shell cracker oh my gosh That's even better go. yes look at that oh look at that one yeah that's a good one man. that's so big now that's not one of the big shell cracker that's a medium-sized shell cracker look at that one guys a big Big keeper, but medium for the size we're going for. Number six. Caught those last two right there. That's awesome. Oh, big one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I got a little one. All right. Borderline. You got a keeper? Yeah, I got maybe. Ooh! Um, what do you think on him? Borderline. Borderline. Let's throw the borderline back. We're on a roll now. On a roll now. Yeah, just <laughs> I'm gonna throw that borderline one back that we put in there. That borderline one's going back. We already got. We already got too many. Let's keep that. Look at that. Look at that, Dad. This is why they call them shell crackers. See that? He spit up a shell. The muscles? No, an uh, actual shell. Look, it's round and pointy. That's cool. Huh. We got six in there. They're actually cracking shells down there. Eating sunflower seeds, as, as I would be doing. Baby. Oh! missed him I would rehook your worm there you gonna pull it off I should have brought out some sunflower oh my gosh he pulled hard for a little guy he hit it going the opposite way this is fun yeah it's hard to beat this is the kid fishing stuff too yeah <laughs> get them like, get them to like fishing yeah. Oh gosh. That. Mm. Oh, borderline. Borderline. Oh, borderline. Yep, a lot of borderline. Nice ones. Could keeper. Could be a keeper, but we're throwing them back today. Oh, look Yeah, you might need a new one. <laughs> oh, wait. That's funny.
Got him. Doubled up. Just kidding. We don't need new worms yet. Not much mushroom, that's for sure. Oh, borderline. Pretty fish. You got borderline one too? Yep. There's a ton of fish here. This one feels good. This one feels real good. Fighter. Yep. Yeah, he's a little better. A little better. Caught him kind of diagonal. The second it hit the bottom, he ate it. There he is again. Reel in real quick, Dad. He's getting me all around you. That's a big one. Big one. Yep. Yeah, it is. I'll throw him in there too. Perfect. We can only keep a hundred. I'm just keeping a fish fry stuff for now, aren't you? <laughs> I'm gonna keep some for the freezer too. I'm out of fish. We did that fish fry in Chattanooga. Ooh, little guy. We probably need more worm. Oh, you already got yeah, one. Yeah, they're to the left of the, I've caught all mine to the left of them. Really? Yeah. I'm catching all mine on the bed. That's a good one, too. You keep catching those little ones off the bed. I'm going to catch these big and these big old pinkies on the bed. That's just over borderline. I don't think I got any of those on video. We just caught about 10 more. I thought the camera was rolling. I didn't even shut it off. You shut it off? I shut it off when we moved up here and then I didn't start it again. So we didn't get any of that last bit on video. All that shit we we're putting on didn't catch it. I know, we were catching them. We were catching them. Thank you for Give me some more worms. Pinch there. it up. I got no fingernails. I keep tearing them. I missed. All right. We just doubled up five times. About four of them kept. Threw them in the thump net. I just caught a little shell cracker and threw it back. No big shell cracker here. A couple big bluegill. There he is. Fighter. Not a keeper. Dang. Look at you go. Swinging on them. Swinging. Big one? Oh, that's a tiny one. Yeah, that's like the rest of them. They stole my worm already. They are. They did? Yeah. You must have put a weak one on there, Dad. Well, I don't check them for tensile strength when I put them on. Tensile strength? Should be right out in there. Maybe. 
Somewhere right in there. Yep. Baby. What is that? A perch. I caught a perch. Oh my gosh. A, a northern baby. strain perch. A maybe baby baby. A northern strain perch. You don't see those very often here, Deb. I've only caught a couple of these here. See the lines on him? Coming out? Yeah, pretty. Very pretty. Pretty little perch. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll check into it too. It's going to be sweet. Oh, perch. Oh, a big one. Yeah, yeah, right. I'll find out. I'm going to have to go up there to fill up the, the tank anyway. Oh. Oh. Fighter. What do you think on him? Like That's a chub. The same size. What do you think on him? He's wide. I don't know. Yeah. Throw him in there. Line wrap. Yeah, this is a good one. Fighters. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Miss him. Boom. There you go, Dad. We're loading up on him here. Kids when they're small. Yeah. It makes dinner fun for them. Though. They sit for 10 minutes, no catch a fish. Yeah. Kids get bored. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 10 minutes like an hour to them. Yeah. I used to take you to Duncan Park. Small too. There he is. Yeah, we did. Loaded in this little bed. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That one might be a little fatter. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let's check him out. There you go, Dad. Foot too. There he is. Fighters. Oh, not a keeper. Maybe. I had a nipple suck the rest of my water. Did you? Oh man. Sure enough. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Second biggest one. Ooh, look at that one. Catch a bunch more like this, we're gonna cull those little ones out. Another shell cracker. Right there. Will you open that live well behind you, Dad? Right, we are loading up the old thump net. We got about 15 in there. All right, we just pulled the boat out. What do you think, Dad? Had a busy day, a lot of bluegill. How many do you think we caught? Some shell cracker, oh man, a couple hundred. Yeah, 
couple hundred. I, I legit think we caught a couple hundred. We probably have what, 40, 35, 40? 35, 40. In the, and yep. we threw back more than five to yep. every fish. So pretty awesome day. It was a fish, good day. Fish high five right there. We just took a picture of that cover photo you guys clicked on. Uh, that is what we caught today. Let's show them to you real quick. We got the old thump net in here. I just drained the water. There they are. So you can't really tell how many are in there until you get them up and start looking at them. Look at that. We got a lot of fish in there. A lot of big fish in there. Just They're deep too. And we got a couple crappie, but most of them, big old bluegill like that. That's about the average right there. Pretty nice. Nice bluegill. So, good day. We didn't catch that many shellcracker. We caught some big shellcracker like that. That's a real big shellcracker. It's a good one. Fun day. But we're going to go home and flay them now. And then we're going to cook them up. So, there you have it, guys. Fun day out there. Let's go flame up. We got some flame. We do. A lot of work. A lot of work. Just getting home to the shop. Almost forgot about our little perch friend that is joining Ned. We are putting it in the tank. Let's feed Ned first before we get him all uh, messed up. Let's, let's let him eat. He might not eat for a little bit after we put that perch in there. So, here we go. Smoked it so fast. All right. Ned's the man. He only gave, got one right now. We'll give him more later. But, all right, we're going to pull this perch out of here. Dad, will you grab that net for me I just had on that bucket? And we'll throw that perch in there. We got him in the live well here. I'm excited to see how he reacts. All right, there he is. Check him out. A little perch friend. There you go, Dad. I'll give them to you. <laughs> Let's check him out. Let me see him real quick. Look at the lines on him. He's pretty. All right. You ready? Yep. Welcome. Welcome, Perch. Ned is not able to eat that guy. <laughs> Ned is really checking him out, though. <laughs> That's a cool looking perch. I like that. I like that. Ned said, I don't think so. I can't eat that, dude. <sighs> That's awesome. All right, now it's time to bust out the flay knives. Okay, pull out our old thump net here. So we went ahead and drained the water. That way they wouldn't be flopping around as much and stuff. The cool thing about this Thump nets, it's got a handle on the bottom. Dump them straight in the bucket. Just like that. We got a half a bucket full of bluegill, Dad. There might be more than 35 in there. That's a bunch. Perch is getting active, folks. Ned swiped at him, actually. He said, I think I could eat him, and then he changed his mind. It's a pretty big perch. He's almost the same size as Ned. Look at that, that's cool. All his pattern went away, he's getting comfortable. All right, Dad taught me how to play many, many years ago. I think I was nine years old. Yeah. Taught me how to play fish with a steel mesh glove. How'd I tell you before that? Play-Doh, I made Play-Doh fish. Oh yeah! With a butter knife. Yeah. And you practiced. Yeah, he did. With a butter knife and Play-Doh. <laughs> for about six months before you went to the steel gloves I had to fold them half and tape down because they were too big, big in your hands. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, I'm going to show you the quickest way to flay a bluegill. Real quick, real quick. The quickest way and dad doesn't even have to help me because it's all in one motion. There's no ribs to take out. Here we go. Okay, quickest way to flay one right here. You go under the fin. Hit it with your electric knife, then you go down the spine, just like that, flop the flay over, then you take your knife, go around the ribs, just like that, you have your flay without the ribs. 
Okay, now let's look at it fast speed. Here you go. Buzz through them. Just like that, slide your fish off into the bucket. On to the next one. Super simple, right there. So we're gonna count them as we flay them here. See how many we got. Ton of beautiful bluegill. Fun day out there. They're gonna taste good. Yeah, they Bluegill's will. Bluegill's the best eating. A little firmer than crappie. Oh yeah. You don't think you look good? I have no idea. <laughs> what do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> good enough. No We've had day. hats on all day. And we have got this fish done. You ready, Dad? Grab your piece. We're ready. Here it is. Golden Krispies. We flayed it. What's the batter? McCormick's beer batter. But we used water instead of beer. What did we add to it? We had some uh, creel seasoning. Yeah. And some Old Bay. Old Bay. Salt and pepper. And some dill. dill. Some dill. There you go. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm, good. Tastes like your famous recipe. Almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any Cajun batter. So <laughs> we, had to, we had to make do and make it Cajun. That's good right there. That's McCormick's beer batter. Nothing better than a day of fishing with your son from start to finish. It was a good day. Good day. We call off fish. Froze two bags of fish. And Cody's going to eat with us tonight. I'm going to snap nab another piece real quick. So good. Wow. You needed that extra creel. It just makes a difference. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless you. Go catch you some panfish. That was fun. Don't always have to go for the big bass. We we flayed 39 fish. Yep. How many you think we caught? We threw back at least about 250. At least five to six for every. Mm-hmm. At least. It was a good day. Some Busy schools day. we pulled up to. I know you guys didn't see all those fish because that's way too many to put in a video. Some schools we pulled up to. We caught like 30 and only had one or two keepers. Yep. Yeah. It was fun. Seven hour day pan fishing. Full day of pan fishing. That was a blast. We're going to get out of here. We'll catch you on the next episode of Fishman Norby. God bless.